The Workplace Relations Minister has offered further concessions to the crossbench to try and secure support for IR changes. The government is still facing a standoff in the Senate. Getting wages moving was one of Labor's central election promises. The cost of everything is going up except for people's wages. Nearly six months on, the Albanese government's industrial relations changes have hit a roadblock. We believe very clearly we have a mandate for it. Two key Senate crossbenchers, David Pocock and Jackie Lambie, aren't convinced by Labor's arbitrary December deadline. I cannot see that today as a whole getting through by Christmas. It'll be a miracle if it does, I would think. So yeah. I would just do the smart thing and split the bill. Sky News understands that's not on the table. Instead, the Workplace Relations Minister, Tony Burke, has offered further concessions to the crossbench, including establishing a new body to oversee the construction industry, delaying a cap on fixed-term contracts, further changes to the Better Off Overall test and changing some powers of the Fair Work Commission during wage bargaining. Oh, well, this just shows that the bill is in no way, shape or form ready to be debated in the Parliament. While the opposition opposed the entire bill, Senator Pocock wants more time to consider the detail. This is not about delaying, it's about having the time needed to do the job I've been elected to do properly. By splitting the bill, we can pass the parts of it that are straightforward. What is the rush? This will not increase wages before Christmas and they're trying to run away from the scrutiny because they owe the unions a lot. The National Farmers Federation have joined big business in opposing Labor's IR changes. It argues it could lead to crippling supply chain issues and ultimately food shortages across the country. We actually need some more time to go through. We think uh, the process is being fast-tracked and we want more time to actually consider some of the unintended consequences. Why would you bring in a piece of legislation that employers, the job makers in this country unanimously say will be job destroying. The legislation will return to the House on Tuesday. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.